We may be seeing some good news on home affordability. Let's talk about it on Today in Mortgages. Hey, what's up, DreamMakers? Welcome back to the show. We're talking about what's real, what's hype, and what you should actually be paying attention to out there in the world of mortgage and real estate news. It's Today in Mortgages. Rich, affordability is a good thing, right? 100% a good thing. Absolutely. So today we are looking at a article that we found in National Mortgage professional.com, the title of which is Starter Homes Newly Affordable in Four U.S. Metros. Rich, the article headline here says homes are newly affordable. What does that mean and why are we talking about it? <laughs> well, median incomes have been rising uh, to compensate for you know some of the prices, even though the, they're not enough to keep up with the price increases. But we're starting to see, well, with interest rates coming down, and more listings in that starter home kind of range 250 or less, those are increasing. So there's just a lot more opportunity and they're just considering them more affordable homes. So let's go through some of those factors, Rich. You said income's going up. What are we seeing in income and wage growth right now? This article is suggesting with the data that they're using that 75% of all of these homes that are listed considered affordable uh, starter homes at 250 or below, 75% of them can be bought by most median income earners. So if they're earning $84,000 you know, $84, per year, you know, at 30% of their income being towards housing, that means about 75% of all of these listings can be bought by them which is great news. Yeah, so the market has responded with putting out more affordable homes uh, at that you know below 250,000 mark. Wages have grown a little bit, but the big kicker here, Rich, is rates, right? When the rates have changed, even as little as they have, I mean, they were pretty high and they've come down you know, a decent amount. Walk us through what that, what that difference makes. Yeah, well, a half a percent of interest rate adds about a half a million more buyers in terms of affordability it opened up their buying power you know with their current income so you know there there's just some big opportunities for every half a percent the interest rates come down there's just more and more people that can now qualify for what the average list price is today let's talk about some of those opportunities rich so if i am a home buyer out there couldn't qualify a year ago uh, is it time for me to look again yeah 100 percent because you know, if you were tied on your debt to income ratios at even a half a percent higher, you are now qualified to work. You know, if you were within, you know, two or three percent on your debt to income with the rates coming down, that's opening up more affordability for you. And you may, in fact, qualify today. Absolutely. And so if I am a loan officer, a mortgage professional out there, uh, what should I be doing with those people who did not qualify last year? Well, you should be making a good news phone call to many of those people that you couldn't qualify, they'd be happy to hear from you about the new terms and what they would qualify for today compared to even, you know, three months ago, four months ago. But that more than that, you should be reaching out to your pre-approved buyers that were limited based on where the rates were, what their buying power was, how much they could offer, because those folks can now offer more for the same payment, which may open up a whole new, you know, uh, inventory of homes for them for sale. Sounds like a good opportunity to make those phone calls and provide some good news when we had to provide a lot of bad news in the past couple of years. Well, Rich, we love spreading good news here inside the Best Network in Mortgages. If you guys out there are interested in learning how you can be a part of the Best Network in Mortgages here at Network Funding, click the Grow link below. We'll get you all the information that you need to know to get the good news like this every day from Rich and other professionals here at the network. So Rich, before we sign off today, any final words to say about home affordability, where things are trending? Sure, yeah. For, for any viewers that are listening or watching to this, they're thinking 250,000. Where are those listings? And you, good, very good point. But you have to understand it's regional, Texas, Florida, many other states have these starter homes available listed. So they might be existing uh, sales or existing inventory or new build. Builders are getting smarter today. They're building in ranges where most of the buyers are coming from, they're first time home buyers. So, they're out there right now. You might not see it. You're definitely not seeing it in California or, you know, even here in Arizona. 
but you're seeing them in a lot of these markets that have big populations like Texas and Florida. Yeah. And then the important thing here is that we're kind of trending in the right direction. So hopefully as we continue to see rates fall, as we continue to see wages rise, God willing, we will get more affordability in more places. So Rich, thanks so much for pointing that out for us, for making us smart about this. We always appreciate your insight and I appreciate everyone out there who is watching and listening to this. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time on Today in Mortgages. Today in Mortgages is produced by Network Funding LP, which is an equal housing lender, NMLS 2297. The content of this program is meant to be a commentary on mortgage and real estate news, and any discussion of rates and or products should not be taken as an individual mortgage or home buying advice or pricing estimates. And any commentary on this show should not be considered a promise to make a loan. All applicants for a loan must qualify and you should consult a professional regarding your individual loan scenarios for your financial situation. Visit our website at nflp.com slash licenses for all state licensing and other legal information.